Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Massa Military. During the 2024 Brimpack exercises, the Arleigh Burke class destroyer USS Fitzgerald has drawn attention by removing its Harpoon anti ship missile launchers and installing the new NSM anti ship missiles. In this year's RIMPAC exercises, the U.S. Navy's F-A-18F Super Hornet aircraft launched the AGM-158 C-3 long-range anti-ship missile hitting a target ship. Also in a test in April this year, a Super Hornet simultaneously launched four AGM-158C long-range anti-ship missiles all hitting their targets. The U.S. Navy has preliminarily tested the AGM-158C missile in combat conditions. Both the NSM and the AGM-158C are subsonic, stealth-designed anti-ship missiles. Their deployment signifies the U.S. Navy's shift to stealthy anti-ship missiles. The NSM, short for Naval Strike Missile, is produced by Raytheon and Norway's Kongsberg. Its crucial feature is stealth, achieved through a nearly hexagonal aerodynamic shape and extensive use of composite materials. The missile's surface and air intake are coated with radar-absorbing materials, enhancing its stealth capabilities. The NSM does not use an active radar seeker to further enhance stealth, unlike most modern missiles that use active radar to locate and lock onto targets. Active radar emits signals that alert the target, enabling defensive measures such as launching anti-air missiles or electronic jamming. The NSM uses a dual guidance system combining infrared imaging and passive radar, avoiding radar emissions to reduce detection and jamming risks. The passive radar seeker can track radar signal sources, as modern warships are typically equipped with radar systems, each with unique radio frequency characteristics that help the NSM identify targets. Infrared imaging is weather sensitive, with detection ranges limited in foggy conditions. Still, combined with passive radar, it significantly improves range and accuracy. The Anglo-French Storm Shadow cruise missile employs stealth design and infrared imaging for enhanced penetration capabilities. The Storm Shadow has demonstrated effectiveness in the Russia-Ukraine conflict, frequently bypassing Russian defenses and even striking the Black Sea Fleet headquarters. Despite its stealth, some criticize the NSM's relatively short range. However, its range varies with flight mode, approximately 124 miles in low, low, low mode, and up to 342 miles in high, high, low mode. The low, low, low mode involves sea skimming throughout the flight, offering the best stealth but with higher air resistance and shorter range. The high, high, low mode ascends to high altitude initially, reducing air resistance and extending range then descends to sea skimming for the final approach to avoid detection and interception. The NSM's warhead is also questioned for being relatively small, weighing 880 pounds. With the 276-pound warhead, it's lighter than the Harpoon's 1,520 pounds and 485-pound warhead. The NSM's warhead weight is similar to the French Exocet and Ukrainian Neptune anti-ship missiles more than 220 pounds. Yet both have records of sinking large warships with two hits, proving that smaller warheads can still be highly effective. The AGM-158C, also known as LRASM, is an upgraded subsonic anti-ship missile based on the stealthy AGM-158B. It addresses the Harpoon's survivability and range issues, surpassing most anti-ship missiles in range and stealth. The AGM-158C features strong stealth capabilities, significantly reducing radar and electro-optical signatures through shape design and stealth materials. Its pointed nose cone design enhances frontal stealth, and the triangular cross-section body further reduces radar detection probability. For effective strikes, the AGM-158C is equipped with a seeker and guidance system designed by BAE Systems integrating a GPS inertial navigation system resistant to jamming, an infrared imaging seeker with target matching, and a bi-directional data link. This allows the AGM-158C to receive target information mid-flight, avoiding detection of the launch platform and enabling coordinated attacks through data sharing. The AGM-158C is more advanced, with more vital stealth and extended range than the Storm Shadow, jointly made by Anglo-French. 
Though its range is shorter than the AGM-158B's 578 miles due to added guidance and navigation systems, estimates suggest the AGM-158C's range is about 348 to 435 miles. Initially designed for air launch, the AGM-158C is used by the Air Force's B-1B bombers and the Navy's F-A-18EF Super Hornets. The F-35 can carry two AGM-158Cs under its wings in non-stealth mode. Future platforms include the P-8 patrol aircraft and the B-21 bomber. After achieving operational capability with the air-launched version, sea trials for the ship-launched AGM-158C began in 2016, with launches from Mark 41 VLS and inclined launchers. Future Navy destroyers and submarines may also be equipped with the ship launch AGM 158C. With the 1,000 pound warhead, the AGM 158C is a long range heavy anti ship missile for large vessels like aircraft carriers and amphibious assault ships. So, which is more effective, stealth or hypersonic anti ship missiles? Feel free to discuss down in the comments. Well, that's all for this episode. Remember to like, subscribe, and share if you've enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the following program.